hello good morning virtuous warriors so i'm going to make a video today again to give you your encouragement and your challenge for today for surrendering and i apologize that it's a little late because after prayer on well, the midst of prayer this morning uh, the kids woke up and it was way too early so i had to put them back to sleep and of course i fell back to sleep with them so but i'm here now and um i'm going to just I woke up with uh, something on my heart and I just felt very um, strongly about it. So I just want to share it with you and hopefully that you guys can understand <clears throat> and take it as encouragement and also just as a challenge to examine ourselves. So um, I woke up with this, this um, almost like this, this title, I don't know what to call it, but basically to surrender our sideline mentality. And um, I think that we have maybe, uh, how do I say it? <sighs> kind of put ourselves on the back burner um, because of some situations or circumstances that we may be going through. And that's where the devil exactly wants us to be on the sideline, on the back burner, not really doing anything, kind of just onlooker, have this onlooker mentality and just sitting back watching everybody else go forth and, you know, really getting in our heads that, you know, you're really not qualified or you're really not needed or your prayers are really not working. And so <clears throat> that th those type of lies keep us seated those type of lies keep our hands heavy to where it's hard to get into praise and worship it's hard to lift our hands um or lift our heads at that sometimes and this morning during uh our prayer meeting that we had it was so powerful i felt just just this reconnection this re-engagement back into the prayer realm in a sense of in the spiritual realm of uh, because of prayer in a sense of like um i felt like just this urgency more so to contend even harder you know that i i felt to i needed to re-engage in the areas that i thought maybe didn't need as much prayer or i felt re-engaged in areas and and during prayer to just contend more and go harder you know not just settle for the um uh uh uh, uh a repetitive prayer or just uh not settle for less but contend higher and, and when i was hearing the prayers of my sisters who else were on the call um just hearing them just go in and just chase down and just tear down just like things that even though it, it may seem big or out of our scope of possibilities or out of our window but just to contend and knowing that god is listening to our prayers right and just hearing that it just brought up like this fire just this to go harder to go more deep right and so i said that so i wrote this down and says um uh that these this morning's prayer re-engaged me to contend and this and i also wrote down that our worship is a form of re-engaging and our praise is a form of re-engaging back into the fight because that's where god has called us to be back into the fight he didn't call us to be sideline soldiers he didn't call us to sit back and watch um just like uh, jackie said yesterday in our group chat chat that we need to be doers of the word right and he if you're in your word you see that he has given us authority to contend the way we contend like like it's not something to be ashamed of. It's not just words. It's not just babble. But we have the authority to contend for those things through prayer. We have the authority um, in worship, in our praise, to contend. And so... Um, <clears throat> Some of us, if we haven't already, some of us need to engage some of us that are new and don't understand that this is an opportunity, a challenge to surrender that sideline mentality and just actually engage. And for some of us who have been walking this walk for a minute and may have sat down because we've been discouraged or we've been hurt or we've been in a circumstance or a situation where it's too big or unexplainable or we don't know the hows or the whos, this is our opportunity to re-engage and recontend and get in the fight and not not allow the devil to keep us seated we're not created we weren't we don't come to church just to be seat warmers we come to church to um to uh for fellowship to be sharpened by one another to get the word in us to get an understanding and opportunity to ask questions for our eyes to be open and you know just hear the word and actually apply it to our lives that's what we come to church for you know and so some of us need to re-engage in our purpose some of us need to re-engage in our calling which god has 
already designated over us. Just like Pastor said yesterday, we all have a calling in our life and our calling is a part of the bigger picture. It's not just for um, just to say it. it's not just to go around for social media and for likes and stuff like that. It's for a purpose and the purpose is to build the kingdom of God, to build the church, to work in one accord. Right. And so I just want to. um just challenge you guys today and just to surrender that sideline mentality that I can't do it, that someone better is better than me will come along and do it. Or so and sister, sister, so and so speaks a better way. So we're going to just let her do it or let um, brother so and so do it because the way he prays, you know, and they get more of a clap or they get more of this, whatever the case, whatever your excuses are, that you're sidelining yourself and you're falling into these lies and the devil's just kicking back saying, that's exactly what I want you to do. Fall into to these lies fall into these traps sit down don't say nothing you know don't engage don't don't show up don't um don't ask questions don't ask for help don't ask for prayer don't do none of that just sit where you're at because you're good in your little pity party that's exactly what the devil wants but no we need to re-engage how do we're gonna expect breakthrough how do we're gonna expect um our families, you know, yesterday during worship, I don't know why, but that I felt the need to just come to my knees and just worship and pray and, you know, my heavenly language and just cry out to God like never before, you know, just to continue crying out to God because sometimes I can feel like I'm doing it and nothing's happening. But when you write, right, and Selena always says this right at the end or when it's the hardest is when you, fit, when, you know, because breakthrough is right around the corner. And when I happen to look up, you know, Jay doesn't ever stand up for worship is very rare if ever he does stand up for worship but I was just praying and contending and just speaking in my heavenly language on his behalf and as I looked over I can see just his tears coming down and I know that it is not in vain that even though I've been pressing in and I don't see nothing or even though I've been showing up and I don't see nothing even though I've been doing this and I haven't seen any what I've been praying for God is still working in the background and I have to remember that it's not my time it's God's time but all he's called me to do is just to show up is to stand and if it's one thing that I learned from Jackie this past year and a half or since she's been doing her podcast to show up since she's been doing her refreshing is to show up that is our job that is what we've been called to do when when um in the military when you called orders when you're giving orders your job is to show up to show up regardless of your situation regardless of your circumstance you've been listening into the army you've been listening to the military whatever branch and when you receive orders you show up so i just want to encourage you this morning to just uh just surrender that sideline mentality because that is not you that is not what god has called you to be and i hope that this encourages you and i'm sorry i got a little bit crazy and i everything is out of love and i just love you guys and i pray that today you can get some time and just um the scriptures that i want to share is psalm 31 24 and Joshua 1 9 and both of those are in regards to having courage and not to fear and knowing that God is with you wherever and whatever you go through